housing is Michael Gove and he hasn't done anything to fix the housing crisis. So we're going to serve this eviction notice to say if you don't take some action to fix the housing crisis, you will be evicted. Every day in our group we're seeing the horrors of the homelessness crisis and the housing crisis. But what we've seen in the last year has just been something beyond what we've ever imagined. There's over 140,000 homeless kids right now just in England. We're seeing families trapped in hotel accommodation for weeks and months on end. It's awful, it's cramped, people can't cook fresh food. There's children who are travelling across London and from out of London just to get to their school because they've been housed in temporary accommodation out of London, out of their home boroughs. And now we're seeing the private landlords of that temporary accommodation sending them eviction notices so these are homeless families they're already homeless and they're getting eviction notices to make them homeless yet again what's so infuriating is that this answer is so simple it's investment in council housing and especially family-sized council housing accommodation porque soy homeless estoy en una residencia de mujeres con, con niños yo pagaba un alquiler y la persona me hizo desocupar y no me dio tiempo para buscar han tardado en, en darme dos, dos meses esa temporada de acomodación y estoy esperando una acomodación larga es muy difícil porque porque claro no teníamos donde dormir no teníamos eh, eh, donde hacer nuestras cosas, es, es muy complicado ¿no? emocionalmente, además este, eh, físicamente también. We are in temporary accommodation as everyone you see. We are in living in uh, a house but the condition is bad because it has mold in it. We are in suburb council because it's one bedroom flat, so because of the mold and they said overcrowded, they put us there. I have chronic back problem. My son have asthma and eczema. There was research recently showing that children have died in temporary accommodation and the temporary accommodation has been a factor in their death. The dam and mold can be caused by the overcrowding as well. Yes. And uh, like a studio flat, five people, it can be caused by that. It's not only about the maintenance, mm -hmm. but often the families that we help they, they are put in an unsuitable temporary accommodation which, which is already uh, suffering from um, significant disrepair. Often they don't look at the, uh, the special needs or medical needs of yes. the family. They never yeah. visit beforehand. Yes. So maybe a, a family of four or five end up in a studio flat. Most of us want to go back to our own house because they put you out of barrel. The root causes of this housing crisis is like out of control private rented sector, like spiraling private private rents, a lack of funding and investment in council housing. When people bid for council housing every week, they'll be like one three bed for the whole of Southwark, if you're lucky. The council housing just isn't there because of right to buy, it's been sold off or it's been demolished. It's about the welfare benefit cuts that we've seen and the cruel benefit cap that's made people homeless as well. Este invierno ha sido muy difícil. Yo he estado en el sofá de una amiga porque no tenía donde vivir, porque los alquileres están muy caros. Aún así que trabajo no me alcanza, muchas madres con niños, también tenemos personas a cargo mayores a nuestro cargo. Ha sido muy difícil tanto para mí como para mi madre, porque yo sé que puedo contribuir a este país teniendo una carrera. Pero si no tengo una casa, ¿cómo voy a estudiar? ¿Cómo voy a trabajar? Y encima cuidar a las personas que están a mi cargo. ¡Sí! 
Madam, as you know, this is the government building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything which is delivered into the government building have to be scanned. Oh, okay. Including all letters and everything. This piece of hold which you got here is quite big to go to the scanner. I would love to have it. However, I can't, I can't admit this into the building. That's what everybody says about eviction notices. No one wants them. No one wants them. But if any of you get eviction notices, you should tell them that. that you cannot accept it. It needs to be scanned first. Should we do another piñata? We have another piñata. Yeah. Earlier, we had a big temporary accommodation. We destroyed that because temporary accommodation shouldn't exist. Everybody should have council housing. Now, we have a housing waiting list. These waiting lists are too long. So we want to destroy them so that there are no more housing waiting lists. Nobody should be on a waiting list because everybody needs housing now. One, three, one. housing group is supporting each other with mutual support helping each other with our housing problems we're helping stop evictions we're helping people find lawyers for their homeless cases we're helping people to fill out forms and then we build these campaigns together to get to the root causes as well we have to make so much noise and take direct action to get the council homes we need and we see it has an impact Michael, go!